So we never pass up the chance to talk to a celebrity, even on satellite. So I admit this time, I have a little bit of job envy. Meet Bravo's Andy Cohen. So there is only one live late night TV show. It's on Bravo Network and it's called Watch What Happens Live. Host Andy Cohen has thousands watching with his unique personality. And I'm thrilled to get to talk to him today. Andy, you call this a live late night cocktail show on TV. Sounds like the best job in the world to me in case you need a co-host. Is anything off limits? Nothing is off limits, actually. Funny that you say that. Uh, no, I mean, you know, the concept is that if I, you know, I'm live at 11 o'clock, and so if I was inviting you to my house at 11 o'clock, my set kind of looks like my living room or my den, uh, the first thing I would do would, would be to offer you a cocktail. So that's why I, that's, that's how that happened. <laughs> All right, well, that sounds good to me. So you bring on many friends, but one of your best friends, of course, is your dog. Tell us about your Reska dog. His name is Waka? His name is Waka. Yeah, he's named after a pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals. And he's, he's a rescue. He's a really sweet guy. I, you know, that old expression, I don't know who rescued who, uh, if I rescued him or he rescued me. I used to have a, have a tiny little cold heart. But now I'm now I've got a big heart, and that's why I'm pairing up with uh, Purina One on their One Difference campaign, uh, which is really cool. They're celebrating the positive impact that the brand is making on shelter dogs and communities through their support for education. And basically, I'm doing the Purina One 28 Day Challenge with my dog. I changed his food out. And so he's feeling healthier and great and looking really good. Uh, but more importantly, Purina One already gave $15,000 to Muddigrees uh, to help this educational program with rescue dogs and students. But now for every person who signs up for the Purina One 28 Day Challenge, uh, they're giving 10 bucks a person to the Muddigrees program. So. Like, all you have to do is sign up, Stephanie, and then they'll give 10 bucks in your name automatically, which is pretty cool. All right, I love cool. that. I yeah. love that. And I don't have to, like, do any kind of 28-day fast or exercise, right? I can keep my cocktails in the evening with you? Oh, my God, Stephanie, you can do whatever you want. You just have to go to purinaone.com slash one difference. You sign up. It takes maybe 20 seconds. Just autofill the thing. And then Purina One gives 10 bucks. In your name, you come out looking like a champ. All right, that's very easy. Quickly, you have also helped produce the Housewives series. I'm not sure if everybody knows that. That's right. What inspired that, and why are we addicted? Well, you know, the first, uh, what inspired it is a guy brought us footage that he had shot home video footage of his neighbors in this gated community in Orange County. and. We looked at them and we said, God, they communicate with each other differently than anything we've ever seen. And it just, at the time, The Desperate Housewives was a big show on ABC. And I'm a big soap opera fan from way back. And I thought, God, if we shot these women, they all live in a cul-de-sac, they live in the same neighborhood. If we shot their lives like a soap opera, it could become like a reality Knott's Landing kind of thing. And then that's how the show started. And we called it The Real Housewives as opposed to Desperate Housewives. And, uh, and, and now we're in seven cities, I think, six cities, and uh, it's going really strong. And as for why people like it, I think people love to judge other people and <laughs> other people's behavior. And I also think that they love, they, there are people they relate to, there are people they love, there are people they love to hate. And they're actually, you know, sometimes it's crazy and cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and sometimes it's just about friendship and motherhood and being a wife and uh, a sister. And, That's right. You, you know, get, that stuff is all pretty relatable. You get the good with the bad, and I know you've been to Florida before for that show, but I'm just saying we got some pretty good stories right here in Sarasota. Thanks for joining us, Andy. Great to talk to you. Thanks. I love Sarasota. I don't know if we want a housewife show, but you know what? It would probably be pretty funny.